Well, good afternoon and welcome to the fourth Cellissimo Masterclass. Today we are very, very glad to have Adrian Brendel with us. Um, he was raised, I suppose, in the great Central European tradition of music. Uh, but as a, as a teenager, I, I read, he discovered uh, his love and attraction for new music and contemporary music. And since he was involved in many projects with, with many, many very interesting composers, amongst them uh, Georgi Kurtak, Thomas Ades, and Harry Bristwistle. So, um, yes, and of course, having this love for, for, for music, for contemporary music, he makes sure to program that also in, in his concerts. And tomorrow you shall hear him as he plays the third in our Bach Plus series, the third Bach Suite, that he has paired with two contemporary pieces, one by Imogen Holst and the other one by Jonathan Harvey. Um, he himself went and studied with William Pleath at first and then received lessons from Alexander Bai and also Franz Helmerson and also took master classes with various people amongst them, uh, Kurtak and members of the Ambalberg, Alban Berg Ensemble, which of course his father, Alfred Brendel is part of. Uh, but now it's his turn to give the master class, and it's your turn to, to take it off him. So I'm not going to take any more time and hand you over to Adrian Brendel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's great, Anna. Thanks. So, Zoe, if you'd like to turn on your um, video and audio, we can get started. Thanks. Hi, Zoe. Hi. Can you hear Hi. me? I can hear you okay. Yeah, can you hear Very me? Very good. Checking everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Where am I finding you? Which which part? Um, of the world? So I'm, actually, I'm um, zooming from Munich. From moment. Munich. Yeah. You know, so Munich was one of my one of my hometowns. Actually, my mom's from Munich. Oh really? Oh, yeah, really? I, well, I used to spend a lot of time there back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Are you studying there? I am, yeah. Um, I'm in my second year, so. Who, who is? Uh, with Julian Steckel. Oh, Julian's an old friend of mine. Please send him all my Yeah, I will. Yeah. Absolutely, I will. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. Good for you. Excellent. Um, what would you like to play? Um, I was thinking maybe we could work through the second movement of Brahms' E minor sonata. Mm. Um, Sure. Yeah, feel free to stop whenever. whenever uh, Good. So this is just um, this is without piano and everything. Yeah, just uh, yeah. just us yeah, two. Fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, good, good. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, as you're playing it, I, I think I thought about the character. And of course, it's, you know, it's easier with the piano because you get more rhythmic framework, of course. Yeah. And now we have to generate it all ourselves, which of course is a fantastic practice. But um, there's something about this. It's quite hard to really identify the character of this, of this movement. And, um, and this, it's almost like a sort of rather loving parody of an old minuet or something, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. It, yeah. It, and, and I think uh, it's that, but also a sense perhaps that you get a bit beyond um, the bar for bar and yeah. look yeah. for slightly longer phrases. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the moment it's a, a little bit packaged. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom T. Rum, bum, bum, 
Pompey, you're lumping Pompey. You know, we're going into the second bar a little bit always. Yeah. Um, and then finding the longer phrase after that. Yeah. Um, I think that would be, that would already enhance, enhance it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you have a nice sensibility for, for, for it already. Um, one thing I noticed that this is one of those movements that can perhaps benefit a little bit from, from not being too welded on the string. Yeah. It's this business of being able to to, yeah. to lift the bow off the string and stay in control, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that yeah. you're you're quite, maybe quite unified through the hand into mm -hmm. the arm and that the stroke also coming a little bit from here, not only yeah. from the, 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 the fingers, no? Uh, so there's a little bit of the skipping stone. Uh, yeah? So there's a connection here. Mm -hmm. The hand through the arm. Uh, uh, This feeling one can often get in, in non legato playing yeah. that, that it's a little tricky to come off the, the string because one might have a little bit of, of tension also. Uh, I think this can benefit from something perhaps mm -hmm. uh, yeah. unified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, try that, try that once. <clears throat> Good, good. Maybe don't travel too far up the down bow, otherwise it's a long way back. Can I, uh, yeah. If you play a, a little under the string on the A, mm -hmm. yeah, rather than only making the shape with bow speed, then you can keep it more local, which is, which is good for the stroke, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. already much better yeah I find with this technique it's it's good never to get too flat in the arms so that the, the bow hold tends to, to to gravitate towards the back of the hand yeah <laughs> What if you come off the third note a bit there? Yeah <laughs> Gives it a little elegance, a little bit of a gracioso, which is nice, no? For the, for the character. <clears throat> On the upper, uh, sorry, I think occasionally you could, rather than, it looks a little bit to me like, like that upper is quite hand-led at the moment, yeah? yeah. Bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Try and flow a little bit through the inner forearm and it's almost like a skipping stone now the, the stroke yeah through the through the stroke you're, you're connecting with the string <clears throat> <laughs> can also extend the long last nine hours by just allowing the bow perhaps a little bit of give in the fingers just to connect with the string a bit longer rather than being too short yeah? Maybe leading it through the bar, says so Anne. It's a little bit four square now. Nah. Yeah. A little bit elegant also, no? This, uh, in, the, in the stroke. Good, much better already. <clears throat> I would actually go with right, that. Right, try one more time. Can mm -hmm. you play that note a little longer? It's not so easy, of course, to combine these two elements. Yeah, when one's trying to go through a little bit ergonomic and then releasing the hand so that that crotchet can just have a little more length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, despite its uh, little regard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
here a little bit more yeah i mean these dots you know they 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 don't all have to be the same length perhaps yeah, yeah? it's an indication of non legato of the kind mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so so yeah maybe if something changes you could alter the length so that perhaps something in this direction yeah or or something else <clears throat> These notes there, if you completely stop the trajectory of the bow on these quarter notes with the dots, mm -hmm. it can be rather tricky to, to keep the right kind of stroke. No? It gets a little short and, and, and tight, yes. Uh, yeah. See, I'm keeping, I'm keeping a, a certain height here and letting mm -hmm. it flow a little bit through the arm again so that it connects to the string through the stroke rather than having to start it again from a static position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, can, it's really better than that. Perhaps a bit more involved than at the beginning, no, in the character. Yeah. 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 So live with that a little bit. Yeah. It just needs to be a tiny bit more well housed rhythmically. Yeah. yeah the phrase mm -hmm. before. Yeah. And but that that can't that'll come. Here, uh, I like the quality you had on this this these chromatic notes. Perhaps they could be a touch more syllabic. And you know, when you play in a chromatic line, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be too legato. Otherwise, the notes that don't have enough. Um, yeah. uh, don't start alone. And for me, this 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 uh, ornament there. Um, yep. It's almost always uh, cellist swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make it uh, beautiful? Make it a feature rather mm -hmm. than yeah, yeah. hiding it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. And now I'll just <laughs> always the long notes with the shape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah tell you all. A little vocal on that E flat, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're, going, we're going a little bit to that, aren't we, sir? Yeah, the phrase is, yeah, E flat becomes a little bit the apex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 really very nice. I think we could just have a, a little bit more of sort of gentle charm. Okay. Again, again, this little lilt. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an old-fashioned lilt. Mm -hmm. crescendo start um right on the minimum the g maybe. yes maybe a little later 
Ja? Okay. Okay. So, so, um, um, uh, and then the other one. Yeah, it's rather lovely. Yeah. You don't you resist the temptation to go too soon. Mm -hmm. you make a lovely, lovely shape out of those two bars. Mm -hmm. a lot of dolce in this as well no a little bit in the in the character yeah. composite yeah the, 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 yeah yeah it's sort of this, this, this lovely uh, quality to this to this movement as well especially here yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, taking care over the character mm -hmm. and of course now it gets a bit turbulent mm -hmm. little delay on my feet just then but it, it look, sounds to me like you're stretching a bit going into the e yeah um, i think so you can. I I mean, that's that. kind of one way of playing these pieces of course yeah i mean from my taste i would not do this because it's sort of heating up in the character you know yeah kind of, yeah, yeah. he's not is the kind of wants to carry on the line mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so if you're stretching it it's slightly at odds with, with perhaps what the music is telling us yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something to think about. Let's go on for now. <clears throat> As it comes, because it sounds a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit stuck in the strum. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. For me, the quality of the short notes is slightly easier to play as it comes. Yeah. I'm a, a little bit higher than you in my okay. general arm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that I'm not hanging off the, the bow too much yeah. with the elbow. But I find it's slightly easier to get the stroke mm -hmm. if you're really on the sort of A string gradient mm -hmm. rather than a bit below it. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. a little bit diagonal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're not, sometimes your, your, your arm height looks to me a little bit more suitable to the D string when you're playing the, the A. To the yeah? D string, yeah, okay. Yeah, just that there's, yeah, not always uh, mm -hmm. a, a, very, a, very, a very, very suitable trajectory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the little bit of blockages here and there. Yeah, so mm -hmm. try, try once with a slightly higher arm and see how that manifests itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just for fun. Oh, so you do. Are you, sorry, are you st are you starting? I don't really mind what bowing you do. All I think is the only bowing that, that for me that's not working so well at the moment is uh, this. So one solution, of course, is little bits of this one, three, one. <clears throat> Yeah. 
try try even try even to be a bit more compact in the amount of bow you're using. So this um, the shape you're making on the dotted crotchet is more more uh, a sculpt than a bow speed. Yeah. yeah. Also the next downbeat a little bit. Yeah, not to get too far up the bow. <clears throat> You know, you can also make it work with your bow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I just wanted to point out a little bit that it's yeah. a little easy to to get it a little tight. Yeah, uh, try and keep the flow mm -hmm. so that you get this this quality of stroke that that suits the music. Yeah, that isn't too too uptight. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you play here, it's a little bit easy on all these four fingers. Huh? <laughs> Maybe not too intense with the vibrato, yeah. So. Nice hemi over there. Yeah. yeah, so a little bit of objectivity, maybe. Yeah, so that you keep this uh, this kind of control of the character a bit more. <clears throat> Do one last time, and we'll go on. Oh no no! So you can do also your bowing. It's fine. But stick with yours for now and see if you can uh, improve it. Yeah. Entertaining uh, momentary freeze on my feed, which sounded like a very interesting rubato, but I'm not sure that's what you meant. That's what you did. <laughs> but I think I, what <laughs> that was good. Um, it made the hemiola a little bit bad. Anyway, um, really, um, it, it strikes me you could still unify it. Yeah. The phrase more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just maybe just a little more flow through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One last time. <clears throat> Because we all, we've all played these pieces so much. Yeah? They, 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 to us, they're not, maybe the novelty is worn off a bit, but it's an extraordinary trio, this. <laughs> you know? And suddenly, this incredibly dramatic, wondrous thing that starts. Yeah. I wonder how we can, how we ourselves can, can convey that a little bit. You know? Mm -hmm. the, the piano goes, little odd, little odd, little odd. Little odd, little odd. Mm -hmm. Little bit improvisando, uh, maybe not too in too external a sound straight yeah. away, but trying to conjure something that that creates a little wonder, you know, a little. Uh, um, yeah, I think I think we we need to strive for that here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe not just sort of immediately too easily flowing. And, yeah. I mean, there's different ways to play this. Of course, some people do take a real fresh wind through it. Um, I like to try, try to do a bit of both. Of course, it, it gets 
momentum also. But mm -hmm. initially, we need to make a bit of a bit of alchemy, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me go. <clears throat> very much better direction yeah but there's a some fabulous blue notes in here now <laughs> How do we bring those out? No, 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 no. Right, let's, let's try it again and as you go along listen up to the notes Mm -hmm. You know, I had a bit of friction. Sniff, sniff around those notes a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I like I like that the quality the more intense vibrato, which I think can also be very suitable. Um, you know, the piano of course has a huge amount of notes actually. Yeah, all these octaves. Yeah, and it, it is sort of also sort of atmosphere, of course. But mm -hmm. I think if you precipitate too much, then yep. it, it it's simply impossible mm -hmm. for the pianist to to really respect the score. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think the the timing the the, the the freedom you find in, 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 in the music needs to needs to be based around that framework yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. So I, I would even not depart too much from the initial tempo, but mm -hmm. find ways to stretch it around there rather than roll too easily. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Also because this chromaticism has a certain, yeah, it, it, it needs a certain uh, uh, addiction also so there's a certain friction with this all this chromaticism yeah it doesn't, should, it doesn't just flow so self-evidently maybe <clears throat> yeah <laughs> Audio is a little bit muffled. Oh, okay. Shall I turn up? Uh, how's that? I think when you lean closer, it is a bit better. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, yeah, sure. sure. Zoe, can you hear that okay? Is it possible? Can, can you hear me better now? Can you, can you hear me better? I think so. Is that okay, Zoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I, I won't talk so far away from the... From the... No, no problem. Yeah, yeah I, I, um, I was just saying, I think you have a... Um, you have quite a quite a quick tempo for this. Yeah. Um, mm. Might be worth thinking about. Whether, yeah, yeah. Whether it's a touch different. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You might find a little bit more, more substance. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Most interesting... Sorry, it is. Sorry, Adrian. It just is a little bit quiet, actually. I'm finding it a tiny bit hard to hear now. I'm not sure what I can do about it. Um, 
Would you try muting yourself and unmuting yourself if you don't mind? Still a bit more. Yeah, I think that. Well, I could just shout, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think, I think it already is a bit better. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I'll speak very clearly and then we'll talk about it. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I mean, that, that, that for me is the main thing so far from what I'm hearing. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. that, that it, it, it shouldn't be too easily flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Enjoy this meandering line, almost like you're you're conceiving it in real time. You know, yeah. 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 I think that's really important with this trio. Uh, try it once with that in mind. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> to look for things now which is nice yeah um but in the beginning can you hear me okay now yeah oh, it's much better now all right good 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 i don't know what i did but anyway <laughs> uh, the beginning of the second uh, section you need to change the sound when it goes into a major that yeah, you carried on a little bit like um um, we're still in F sharp. Yeah. I think it would benefit a little bit. Um, it would benefit a little bit uh, from you sitting down once again and really finding out exactly where the harmony is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, using that as a framework. Mm -hmm. there's, there's one or two modulations that are escaping mm -hmm. the, the syntax at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so I would recommend that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you really understand on which note to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that, that might also help you. Phrase it. Sorry again, Adrian, your audio just is muffled. I'm not sure. I think it just must be a problem with your mic. Okay. You know what? Um, if you have a pair of headphones or even yeah, the iPad. I've got another gadget. Um, let me... Or even a pair of earphones might have a mic on them. Sorry about this. Right, right. Oh, I'm just going to kick out the other, um, the laptop one, if that's okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's try this one. Maybe this works better. Yeah, I think so. That works better? Okay, sorry. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Thanks, that's sorry better. about that. It, I don't know what's wrong with my computer, but I'm on my iPad now, which has got lots of cracks in it, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, good. Uh, where were we? Yeah, we're talking about the harmony. Yeah. Let's play me play me a bit of the the second half again, and let's let's go through the the transition back into the into the. New <clears throat> Yes, you know, there's one other thing that occurs to me. Uh, when when we're playing chromatic uh, a line, 
in a longer phrase mark. It's not a bad idea to to have a little portato. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Not too much, but enough that the notes have a, a, a yeah, aren't too lost in a in too legato a line. Uh, yeah, just a little speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, la 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 la. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that needs a little bit more. I'm that passing note at the end there. I did do the last, the last few notes. <clears throat> yes, maybe a bit more. Yes, good. Lovely sound. Yeah, it sounds much better on my iPad than my computer. <laughs> maybe I, was, maybe I, I, I shouldn't have said some of the things I did. I mean, I... So for the tours, the two undervalued. I would play them with, uh, with more, more interestingly. Yeah? Yeah, bring them out a little bit. Yeah. And um two groups of four before the A. I, 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 it's dangerous to rush them. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would I would Rather stretch yeah. and yeah, enable the pianist to, to cram everything in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Go from uh, the, yeah. the the second time by and go, let's go back. <clears throat> oh, the second time. Yeah, let's just do the transition back into the minuet. Yeah, or or, or play uh, the second half again if you like. <clears throat> Up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get on a down bow there, but it's it's that's not important. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. It's a long line, of course, but but you know which notes to give a little little more little more sculpt to, yeah, under the string. You speak them a bit. Three, yeah. one, three, one, three, one. A little bit in two bars. Yeah. 
two times two bars and a longer phrase. Yeah, mm -hmm. but an overall a sense of of continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. We just have another couple of minutes in the lesson, if that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Enable, to enable that, maybe you don't want to get too much on the air. Going to the G sharp. Yeah. Maybe that's a bit expressive. No, yeah. small you the bow. Just try this one. It's the continuous movement within the stroke, finding the string. Yeah. Feeling. Yeah. Let's get things started. Mm -hmm. yes. On the forearm. Yeah, finding the right part of the bow, maybe not too far up the bow. So there's that. Uh, yeah, a few thoughts anyway. To, yeah, yeah, really helpful. Yeah, that yeah, was lovely to hear. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and Thanks uh, so much. This was hope to see you down the line, Zoe. All the best. Sorry about my uh, my yeah. telecommunications issues. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. It didn't affect it didn't affect right. the, the, what was being Thank you so much. All right. All the best and greetings to you then. <clears throat> Great. Thanks so absolutely. much, Zoe. Thank you. So now we're going to bring on Adrian. Great. I'm going to have to move my chair so that I can uh, get nearer to a plug if I'm using my iPad. Just give no me problem. one second. Yeah. Take your time. Okay. I'm going to go over here. Maybe that's going to work fine. For me. Okay. So, uh, yes. One second, Adrian. Okay, no problem. Take it far. Hello. Hello. My main screen is, I can see you, but only on my small screen. What's going on now? On, let's be oh, there you are. Good. Okay. Very good. Oh. Yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. Namesake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where about to you? Uh, I'm from Croatia, but studying in Limerick in Ireland right now. Ah, so great. I... Ah, lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Um, what would you like to play today? Well, I'd like to play Courant from the fourth suite, if possible. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Yeah, um, aspects of it of the character I like I like quite a lot actually. I like the, the liveliness in the in the eighth notes, and um, uh, I think you could you could respond a little bit more the way you shape it still to to the harmony underpinning this thing. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and this triplets the first one, the one bar phrase, and the second one a longer phrase. Maybe you can make that clear over two bars. Yeah, it was a little bit too, too mm. bar for bar there. Yeah, I mean the Quran, it, 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 within all the different myriad ways one can play bar. Um, I think probably one of the, uh, the, the 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 binding elements for all who play Quran perhaps is that it's it's really perhaps the most rhythmic almost always of all the dance movements no um, also described by commentators at the time that it was considered a movement where you really have to be in control of the of the rhythm yeah really a strong three air underpinning it not that we have to be completely rigid of course but that there's a feeling of really being in control of the pulse which was not always uh mm -hmm. happening just then yeah uh, so of course you have to pick a tempo where which which is lively but not uh so fast that you end up playing also too too technical yeah and then yeah. yeah all this sort of giving it a lovely lilt as well and not just sort of plowing through it yeah so let's see we can um Work on that a little bit, first of all. Yeah. <clears throat> Try it again from the top. <clears throat> yeah. One question, Adrian. Um, I, I can see that you are uh, you're going away from the resolution, which is also, uh, uh, um, of course, the aesthetic in Bach often, that you're not hitting the... Uh, in the cadence for me it's not too much actually <laughs> you play yeah it's sort of it doesn't have a, in, enough quality on the on the downbeat mm -hmm. of the second bar yeah maybe you can elongate it a little bit within the release or give the notes a bit more quality of some kind yeah yeah let's Let's, let's, uh, yeah, uh, the first bar is really in three, isn't it? Yeah, because you have, really have three chords, yeah, that, that are being simulated. So that's not completely clear yet either. I would say, uh, yeah, let's, let's organize this a bit more. Right? Maybe just a little bit, yeah? Don't lose the rhythmic vitality you had. It was nice. It's just a... Yes, uh, you see, this E flat and the lower one need to be connected a little bit. Not E, mm -hmm. oh, yeah? <laughs> Yes. Yes, good. Well, maybe you can make that click. You can make this. Uh, so you're thinking over the bar line a bit more uh, evidently in the second phrase. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
lower note is more team. Yes, it's, a lot of it is 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 the bow speed you use uh, before you're releasing from the string, and I think a little bit what happens to you is that it gets too static. Uh, yeah, it still stops. Uh, maybe you can be a bit more clever how you how you're 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 articulating this note. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, not stopping abruptly. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, good, good. Yeah, I, I think you're getting somewhere with the stroke now on these. I, I, yeah. It's one of the most important things I noticed from your play yeah. And this long phrase here. Yes, uh, perhaps you can find a way through it. It's a little bit more interesting and not each part too similar to the last. Yeah. So then a bit more of an interesting story maybe over these these five bars, no? <clears throat> yeah. Just try it, try that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but isn't it more in isn't there yeah, more interest to be found? Yeah. You, 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 you often are releasing the mm -hmm. uh, uh, these these notes. Perhaps you can mix the phrasing up a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Quality with with the bow speed, yeah. That you, you're making an interesting shape on them, and not just letting them die. To yeah? mm -hmm. you're drawing this. the return of these quavers, uh, these eighth notes, uh, a little bit more rhythmically. So, uh, yes, but not. Uh, too short down there. Not so fast, but it's too early. Yeah, perhaps uh, not only throwing it out of the fingers, but uh, a little bit. Unifying here with the arm. Uh, try it once from the forearm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. This was a this was a much better stroke. I think in general, it's. Uh, I always remember um, when I was young, I I, uh, I studied with had the fortune to study with William Please, with a couple of the other. Uh, professors on this uh, 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 in Chelsea also who also did it. Now I remember so clearly. He used to demonstrate. Uh, he had sort of quite bad arthritis uh, when he taught me. He's quite uh, quite old already, um, and he always used to, to demonstrate standing up like this, you know. And everything was from here. Everything from the arm. Yeah, the C major. He just whooshed it out. Yeah, 
And I love the stroke he had for a lot of his movements because they didn't get too stuck here. Yeah, there was a, there was a, every short note had a, had a bloom of some kind, had a, had a, an aura. Yeah. You get it a little bit more easily, I think, if you're unifying things through the hand into the arm. Yeah. Flicking to my arm. Yeah, when you did it just now, it sounded very good. Maybe try the opening again with this in mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, just look at just, just the end of yeah. this phrase. I thought the, the sound uh, it sounded better to me now before, but uh, it's a little bit too short now. Yeah, finish the phrase a little bit. The stroke is getting better now. Um, what do you think about the, your feeling of the rhythm? Do you think it's uh, unified in the pulse? Mm, wouldn't say so. I think it's a bit too... Yeah, maybe, maybe if sometimes you allow yourself to get a little bit too much momentum. In, yeah, mm -hmm. that you could actually... As a, yeah. <laughs> Fill out the rhythmic value of the phrase, and perhaps concentrate a little bit more on on the, the um, on your range of stroke. Yeah, again, uh, increasing them, decreasing the bow speed. Yeah, more ergonomically, as you did at the beginning, a bit more now. Maybe this passage could also benefit. And then when you play these. Uh, <laughs> to use the whole bow of course yeah you can also sculpt a bit on these notes stay mm -hmm. at the bow so it doesn't get too ballooning in the sound yeah <laughs> uh yeah maybe also not a bad idea maybe go from somewhere in the middle of the of the, the first half <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, in, in, in this movement for me, uh, it, you know, you play a jig, of course, it's one, three, one, three, one, as well as this feeling. And so I wanted the second beat. When I play currants, um, I, I, I'm often feeling the three, actually. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite, quite clearly in my head. Yeah. I think it helps a little bit for the rhythmic structure, the backbone. Yeah, so it doesn't get too wavy, maybe. Mm. Yeah, um, and then uh, along the premise of this being perhaps the most rhythmic of all the, uh, the movements, yeah, everyone wants to go that way. It's also a good way to think. Let's let's do the uh, the second half. <clears throat> When you, if you want to play these, uh, a tiny bit more length, no? Otherwise, you can't hear yeah. the ornaments, yeah? It's too swallow. Yes, but now there you have to change the, you have to change the sound there when it gets into the minor. Oh. 
Atik maybe to the C minor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you do something more interesting with the moving line here? Yeah, um, pom, 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 pom. yeah it's 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 not uh, coming out against the E flat enough. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Wonderful ninth there uh, implied against the G pedal. Yeah, I would not just plow on there, mm -hmm. but think of the harmony. So you go. Uh, 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 Long pedal. Still G. See if you can think a little bit more harmonically when you play this. Huh? You can't really, you can't really study Bach and play Bach well without uh, spending a lot of time with the harmony, you know, um, in all the, the movements. It it, it 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 really makes you see the woods for the trees. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say, "Oh, play Bach naturally." Yeah, but I think it's a rite of passage to play it naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. When at first, perhaps you also have to understand. Uh, with all this implied harmony we have in these in these suites, a little bit, uh, yeah, what's underpinning it? Oh, yeah, um, and it's not completely clear to me, perhaps, that that you've done that to, to yeah, in a way that that uh, mm -hmm. is shaping your your version so far. So it might be fun for you to do that. Sit at the piano and uh, play the chords, um, and then perhaps look at your design. <clears throat> yeah. This yum pom pim pom pim pom pim pom pim pom pom. Again, a passage perhaps not to race through too much. Yeah, but see what you can find with with the different different bow speed, different different stroke. Make it an interesting long phrase rather than getting getting ahead of steam. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Okay. They do the second half again, maybe. Just go from the second half. Okay. Yum, pom, 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 pim. Bring up those those bass notes mm. a bit more. Yeah. Yes. You know, I think sometimes, uh, sometimes perhaps one can overthink this idea to release the arrival note. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, it is still perhaps a sense of an ending of a phrase one has to have and. Yeah, I, I think you've taken it maybe one step too far now, and that yeah. you're so determined not to land on <laughs> resolution that that it's it's now too too meager often. Yeah, in the sound. So, yumpy, yeah. lumpy, pum pum, There we can finish, maybe a bit more impressively. Uh, also, because of the character we've arrived in. No, the C minor. It's not a suddenly um, becoming polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finish in the character, I think. It's a good way of thinking about it. <clears throat> Maybe just do a couple of bars before that cadence. Uh, yeah, okay, so like... Uh... Yeah. 
It's too much now. <laughs> yes, but for me, no, it's, it's, nice, it's nice and crisply played, this, but... Uh, yes, when you come to the, to the E, maybe it's not just to play it impressively fast. Yeah. Again, think of where the, the, the chord, the harmonies are. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's important, you know, because when you have these long sequences of, of 16th notes in Bach sometimes, if you play them too technically, yeah, it's it's never right, actually. <laughs> it shapes them a little bit more, yeah? A bit more figurative, maybe. Uh, yeah. Try it again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here, look, here, I, this is. I find this passage great if one resists the temptation to 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 get again a little bit too fast. Huh? <laughs> I'm bringing out the different strata a little bit more rather than the more fun yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Yeah, and of course you don't have to. You can experiment with it, based yeah. on this. Yeah, and find your own way. Yeah, of course, not every time. Sometimes bring out the the the, the and the seventh in the top. Um, the the the, uh, the fourth. Sorry. Sometimes the lower note longer. Mix it up. Yeah, make it make it uh, not too predictable. Yeah, that we have a template for the for the for the phrasing every time. Yeah, okay. try just one more time. Me. Yeah, yeah. for a second, just like have... yes. Uh, oh, please tell 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 to Isaac. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah? Rooms at the academy. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Try try it again. Lumpy, little little lumpy, little little lumpy, pump. Sometimes you know when you've got um. Again, what's the harmony? Yeah. yeah, try and think of the chords and then how that influences the shape of the phrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. exuberant movement this isn't it yeah or you want to you want to transmit a character of real real positivities uh, so it's when you get to uh, and here sometimes you can do too much uh, Thank you. 
Still wrapping it up, but but not uh, uh, no, taking no. us into to to lackadaisical and a character at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's one of the hardest things in the bus weeks is ending these these movements well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is something one has to practice uh, very specifically, actually. Yeah, the temptation often is to taper off or, or uh, do something what one might think is stylistic. But mm -hmm. more important, in my view, is that one ends suitably in a character that's, that's gone before it. Mm -hmm. yeah? Even if one's releasing the cadence, it, it, this is so important, yeah? uh, I think. Uh, some people might disagree, but I've heard a lot of, of Bach endings which have not been corresponding to what's preceded it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um, good. Do you want to play any, uh, any more of another movement or, uh, or shall uh, we keep going with this one? Well, mm -hmm. I can also play a bit of Alemon if you. Yes, like let's, do, let's do okay. it. <laughs> yeah. Good. One thought at the end, just a bit on your bed. Good. Thank you. Is it? There are Alamans um, which maybe have a little bit more of a, of a freedom within the pulse. I don't know. For me, this one has such a lovely, sunny, uh, rather, rather, almost a little bit simplice in the case. <laughs> When you get to this sequential passage, it's almost a little bit of an in invitation to dance, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but within the pulse that you, you establish through the, the linearity of the beginning, and then as you get into this, this sequential passage, perhaps you can, again, resist the temptation to, to fall forward too much in the pulse. No? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Maybe you can unify this. Uh. What needs to be, if you want to, to, to let it go at the end of the phrase, fine. For me, what do you say? Whatever, yeah? The, 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 the pillars are, are in, a, in a coherent pulse and not too wavy in the backbone. Yeah? No? <clears throat> we'll just try straight from there. I'm sorry, there's just one of the lesson. Okay. Yeah. Also this. Uh... <laughs> Notes? Do you think you could play clearer as as part of the pillows? Yeah. 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 One thought, Adrian. By the way, just about the character of this. Um, 
But I agree that it's not one of Alamans that should be too too spacious in the tempo. But it's very lively what you're doing. I mean, yeah, it's sort of very sprightly. I wonder whether it could just could just have a slightly more relaxed pulse. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure it's it's so so energetic in its nature. Sort of good natured, <laughs> rather than uh, If you're gonna play, uh, it's two and two and two and two and two. Yeah, it's an interesting boy. You're gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> you need to shape it a bit more so that it doesn't become only about. Uh, uh, there's a bit more of an interesting line. Sorry. You know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I think some of your short notes are too sticky. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lesson with, with Zoe a little bit, this idea that the stroke is not just <coughs> flicked, but part of a, yeah, part of a larger stroke. Huh? <laughs> Unifying the hand a bit with, with the arms. Huh? The stroke is, is over this whole piston here a little bit, yeah, on the right side, not just, not just too local. It's very easy to uh, get that slightly spiky sound if you're just looking at it. Try that. <clears throat> uh, no, later on. Uh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> coming out again so <laughs> yeah but you know you know you know just just just, just for me once i do just for me try take a bit more of a back seat in the tempo yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what's happening a bit with you is what's quite common in in in, in Bach is that when you have two of the same uh, rhythmic values, like two eighth notes, ti da 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 dum ti, the second one is is coming too early. Yeah. yeah if, you, if you give them the, the, the full value, then immediately you'll have a little bit more of this poise which suits the character in this element. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, uh, changes direction, so maybe don't, don't just go on. Uh, yeah, if I were you, just as a final thought, I would um, I wouldn't play this Alamon too quickly and and work in this this stroke a little bit because it's much more suitable, I think. Yeah, this 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 non legato, but it's not too spicky and short. But also in the Quran, 
if you get a little bit more um, of a stroke that that creates a little little bloom around the nose, yeah, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more also from here, unifying the, uh, the 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 hand a little bit more with your with your arm, so the stroke is not just here, but yeah, a little bit mm -hmm. connected. It makes uh, it makes it easier to get this this quality in the stroke, you see. Yeah, where the sound isn't 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 getting too static, isn't dying too quickly. Yeah. Also for in the semiquavers in the sixteenth notes in the Quran, to get more continuity, to get more quality in the get more phrasing through them. Yeah, not getting not getting just stuck in one movement like this, but being able to extend the bow the uh, the bow stroke when you need through the arm just a little bit. It's much easier to do. <laughs> yeah, so I would play around with that a little bit. And, uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. Nice to hear you. All the best. Nice to work with you. Thank you. Yeah. Very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. So our next student will be Robert. If you'd like to turn on your how's, video. Your how's my sound? Is it okay? Yeah, your sound is much better now. Thanks. Okay, sorry about that before. Really? No problem at all. Hello. Hello. Can you see me okay? Sorry? Can you see me okay? I can see both of you. Yeah. Excellent. We're, we're, we're about to you. Actually, actually, your um half your head is cut off. <laughs> uh, the angle there, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, maybe now now I've lost the pianist. <laughs> okay, so don't worry about me. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Hi there, nice to meet you. Hello. Yeah, where, where about are you? I'm in the Cork School Music. In, in Cork? Yeah. Oh, I love Cork. Oh, wonderful place. Lucky you. <laughs> Good. What would you like to play? Uh, I'm going to play the fourth movement of Thanks, Alan. Uh, I couldn't hear that. Sorry. Sorry, the fourth minute of the French novel. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm, I confess, I, I don't have the clearest sound coming through. Uh, maybe it's slight overload uh, in the mic, or it could be something to do with me, my, my gadget, but I think I think we can work with it. Um, Sorry, Robert, are you using an external mic? No, I'm just using the laptop mic. I have an external mic I could use if you want. I think um, it would we, be better. I think it's a good yeah. at the moment is it for me as well. Would you mind trying it? Sorry to interrupt. It just would make yeah, a just, big difference. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Great, thank you. Let's 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 just have a quick test though. See how all the difference is um, at the beginning. <clears throat> Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's that's easier to work with. Yeah, great. Thanks very much. Um, good. Yeah, lots of nice playing there. You're in a natural way with the instrument. That's uh, nice, nice to see and to hear that to the best of my ability. So, <laughs> um, look, what's going on at the beginning here in this piece? Yeah, obviously we have a canon. Yeah. yeah but who states the theme first? Yeah, it comes first in the piano, doesn't it? Yeah, and then it and then it's inverted later on. Yeah, I think it's something for you to think about yeah. as you start. Yeah, and not only uh, that, but um, when you play your long notes, you're playing with lovely full sound, but you might need to find something a bit more transparent. Yeah, so that you allow the piano line through a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, and and it perhaps just a touch more. Uh, touch more dolce, yeah, in the color. Yeah, perhaps you don't have to tell too much of the story too soon. Yeah, and let it be a little bit more, and 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 um, concentrate more on the balance. Yeah, with 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 the piano in this case, and then later, of course, you can come up more. Yeah, <clears throat> let's let's try that again. <laughs> Good, good, thank you, thank you. Now, what can we do um, to shape these phrases just a little more? Yeah, that maybe you're playing them with good sound, good vibrato, but they're perhaps a touch, a touch too similar. Yeah, yeah, almost a little bit like a 
continuation and afterthought of the first statement. Each one of these groupings can have something different a little bit, yeah? Some of them coming out a little bit more. See what you can do, how you shape these groups of notes. Perhaps not only in a, in a, in a just a legato, yeah, leading to the long note, but bring them out a little bit more with a, yeah, with, with, with different shapings, yeah? Like, a, like a, imagine you're singing the line, yeah? So, right, I won't ask you to do that. I'll make a fool of myself and do the bit of singing. But, <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's in this case, I, I think it's, it, it, always, it helps a lot, you know, in Franck. Yeah, how to how to how to configure the technique of it. You know, also in the in the passionate bits and in other parts of the, the, the piece, the, the vocal music often. No, yeah, and there's a simplicity about the vocal line here. See, have a have a have an experiment as you go along with this. Yeah, as you play now, try a few things. <clears throat> in mind. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I like, I like. Just, you see, when you play, uh, this note's a bit too expressive, isn't it? Yeah, you want to hear the piano there. So, uh, a little bit gentle vibrato, maybe take the, the, the core out of the note a bit with the bow. Uh, Yeah, and your your duo partner is making some nice shapes. Yeah, as you hear them, maybe you can answer them or or ape, ape them. Sometimes do it a little bit differently, but in the spirit of the canon that you're the, the secondary voice. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah try one more time. So maybe can you make a bit more of a phrase out of that now? Yeah, it's a bit, little bit played very, very well, but on 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 the same level, everything. Yeah, it, it react to the harmony a little bit more, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, see see what the harmony tells you to do a little bit. Yeah, where well, maybe to release a little bit. Yeah, or, or not. <laughs> Make it your own. Try again from the beginning with that in mind. Yeah. This this has a, a certain uh, I mean there's nothing really wrong with the tempo, but it's got a it's got a sort of flow to it as well. No? As, uh... <laughs> something unruffled so the simple beauty about it yeah perhaps it's easy to make it a touch too expressive yeah that that comes later doesn't it yeah <clears throat> yes it maybe it's a question of also how much bow you're using whether you need to use the whole bow all the time whether sometimes you can just distill it a little bit yeah take a little bit of the, the, the core out of it and save that for when you really want to bring something out yeah <clears throat> before the forte really kicks in later yeah <clears throat> Let's try one more time from the beginning. Very good. Thank you. 
yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, it's it's coming. I think you've got you've got some some things to to search with there, maybe a bit more. Yeah, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> Rather exuberant, the exuberant starts at he, yeah, maybe not. How can you transmit joy through this? Yeah, through these notes a little more. Yeah, perhaps at he, little start to the note again. So it's not they're not too painted now. <laughs> with a little bit of little bit of spoken spoken as well spoken notes yeah let's try it again <clears throat> Don't, don't ever get to the extent that you're forcing it. Yeah, this is joyful music. Yeah, it doesn't need to be uh, too much down force. Yeah, and perhaps it's not the way to go to to charge off there. Is it? <laughs> yeah, there's something rather festive about this, no? And uh, uh, rather than very intense. It's not not so much in the character here. And he oh he oh da he a la la li. Yeah. Celebrate it. <laughs> yeah, try it again. Good, good, good. Yeah, nice. I, I, from what I could, again, my audio isn't great, but from what I could hear, I, I like the way that you were you were trying to be a bit improvising through that old sixteenth uh, passage. I like that approach. Yeah, um, it could perhaps just be a touch more liquid, maybe something. Let's say you don't get it little stuff, but I, I, I like. But when the theme comes back, it's. Or maybe you can have a slightly longer phrase, yeah. Um, despite the the, the switch, the, the the canon, yeah. But you you keep it going. Uh, it's a little bit of a fresh wind through it, so it doesn't get too stuck on every one of the notes. Sometimes I think you could you could have a little more quality on your little notes. Yeah, don't forget them too much. <laughs> yeah, bring them out with a little, little something. Take care of them. Uh, why don't you go from uh, after the semi quaver passage? Um, uh, yeah, just somewhere there, or wherever suits. <clears throat> Yes, good, 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 good. 
I like, I like, I like, look. Uh, maybe that needs just a little bit more. That, that A is a bit of a, a rogue note in there, isn't it? It's not something, you're playing it a little bit like it's an A sharp. <laughs> la -dee, la -dee, la -dee, la -dee. Bring it out a bit. Yeah, it should, it should jangle a bit more. <laughs> Wait, is that the... After that, from the duck, yeah. This one, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, it, 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 it doesn't sound blue at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I could do with it a little bit more uh, uh, emphasis. That harmonic minor interval. This means that you need to bring it out a bit or do something with it. This goes before there somewhere. <clears throat> From Cypher. Yeah, play the theme once more. That was better. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Just try, guys, 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 try, try one more one thing for me. Play it with no bar lines once. Yeah? It, it's I hear I hear the bar lines too much. Yeah? It's played a bit more seamlessly over a long over a longer period. <clears throat> Of color, can can you find a new color? Yeah, sort of a yeah, sort of augmentation of of the of a previous movement. Yeah, just that you see, link it a little bit to that color. Maybe a little bit more, uh, a bit more bow speed, less weight. Yeah, not too concrete. Give it a bit more of a special color, perhaps. <clears throat> phrase again yeah it just perhaps goes through a little bit too easily yeah where can you find a bit more friction yeah but it may be feel a bit more resistance sometimes here yeah not just through yeah uh, the, 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 some of the interesting intervals for instance yeah i think um for my taste i mean you play very well robert for my taste you could be a little bit more ambitious to look for for, for more colors in your playing, yeah? A few more, a few more shadings, yeah? yeah. What, what, what is this character when it comes back again with a, with a higher tessitura in the left hand and the, yeah, there's something, there's something, something elevated about it, yeah? Not too, again, not too neutral in the sound. You need to search more for something wondrous, maybe, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not quite coming across enough uh, yeah that you bring out the marvel of this music in in, in 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 the colors that you find yeah perhaps perhaps sometimes uh you could substitute a little bit of 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 weight for for bow speed yeah so that you get a little bit more um there's a uh, 
Yeah, conjuring sound rather than good, you know, uh, solid cello sound. Yeah, I think this piece can can do with that so often. Also, the first movement, of course. Yeah, and and all the amazing things that happen in the slow movement. Yeah, all the pianists. Yeah, it, 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 of course, it's there's a simpleness to this simplicity to, to this theme, but but. It, we still have to, to find a, a, a wonderful color, don't we? Yeah. Uh, a bit more weightless, maybe. Try that. Try that once. Yeah, a bit more transparent. Yeah, where it comes back. Buy yourself a little bit of time there just to really go, yeah, uh, not to feel like you have to, to rip that shift. Yeah, but uh, celebrate it, look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you go a couple of bars before there. <clears throat> yeah. So good. So here, here. What's the character? What, what, how would you describe the character here? What's going on on the piano? Uh, well, it's like there's more happening. It's a bit more playful. Like. Yeah, but also almost slightly, slightly breathless in a, in a. Yeah, slightly, a lot of movement inside. Yeah, within this very positive, playful character, it sounds a little bit. Again, it's what you do with the bow, isn't it? Yeah, maybe how you shape the long notes that they're not too uh, one paced. Yeah, but play around with bow speeds within uh, uh, the longer notes. Yeah, so you give them a bit more esprit, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's in general often a good thing to do with, with longer notes, <laughs> to shape them, yeah? Uh, but here they need a life, don't they? Yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's try straight on that. <clears throat> <laughs> So, yeah, so whatever thing you do, like a, it's a mixture of, of a little bit of sculpt into the string and changing up the bow spin. Yeah, can you see I'm suddenly ex expanding? Yes, uh, exactly. Uh. Yeah, and that gives the notes uh, a lot of a lot of evolution and, and life. Yeah, uh, something I think you can think about in general in your playing from what I've heard so far. Also uh, in, in the canon, yeah, the, 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 the long note, when, it, when, it's, um, when you're playing it transparently to allow the piano to... Uh, little shade. Not to... Yeah, it's a, 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 a touch flat sometimes, yeah, in the... Yeah, it means you can find a good stroke, a good vibrato, but it's not quite enough. Yeah, it needs just to, long notes in general need to evolve in some way, I would say. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have a, a wonderful tool here with the bow where we can do sort of anything. Yeah, and it, it, just to give it a little quality always. Yeah, but here it's a different thing. Only now we need effervescence. So let's, uh, let's try again. <clears throat> 
Um, Robert, just one thought. Um, you have a figure that turns into a diminished, diminished figure. I mean, these, 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 yeah, these diminished seventh uh, figures are, are generally pretty dramatic, a bit more dramatic. Yeah, not to don't, don't, don't pack them in cotton wool too much. And then release afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, and then it stays there for longer. Yeah, so it, how you change the character actually is important there. Yeah? Rather than playing it as if it's um, part of uh, the same uh, the same harmony. <laughs> yeah, the, <clears throat> try again. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, good, 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 good. In this place, think, think of the sound. That's yeah, that you're not forcing it too much. And it got a good a good position there. Yeah, where the sound is 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 is, is big enough without it sounding too strangled, yeah. And buy yourself the time for the shift. Yeah, it doesn't have to be quite so intense. No, it can it can be yeah, a little bit more um circumspect about the shift. It's more about what, how you're playing into your sound there. Yeah, try one more time there, straight on it. Good, yes, uh. You can get quite a lot of extra time to shift in a more vocal way if you shift a little bit after the bow change. <laughs> slow down, yeah? Hold uh, on, try that once. <clears throat> so look. Uh, the slide with a bit of release of weight as, as at the beginning of the down bow. For our bow in your case. Yes, carry on. Yes, good. I mean, the, the shift is working for you, so I don't want it to... to uh, Maybe uh, not too wild a brother. And on 
and those chromatic notes really to, to, to yeah, get under the string with the bow, make nice shapes. Huh? Yeah, don't get too wild in the left hand. Yeah? Try one more time. <clears throat> When you finish this, when you finish this last phrase, what's happening in the music there? It's like an incredible release, isn't it? After this, after this drama and this struggle, and suddenly yeah, 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 this cascade in the piano. For me, you shut the phrase too too much. You can just keep soaring into it, and then it's a you know that you're 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 on your way. Yes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, play with abandon and with a, an unleashed sort of uh, positivity there. Yeah, it was perhaps a little contained what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's to go with go with the spirit of the music there. But you can also maybe maybe lead the phrase into the to the to the release if you like. Also, yeah, of the piano. Where's a good place before then? So I don't have the score in front of me. <clears throat> And just a reminder, there's just a couple of minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Robert, Robert, what can you do? That's so beautiful when the major comes back there. Can you be a bit more touching? Yeah. Major comes back. And then it's, yeah, this is a sort of gentle return of the theme again, that you, you look after your sound there, that it's not too, too external. But yeah, but really, really beautiful. Yeah, the right kind of dolce, you know, not too much core maybe. Yeah, just do that, do that return of the theme. And then I think we, 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 we have to stop. <clears throat> Let's get this really good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that was better. I'd like. I think it'd be great if you thought a little bit more. Um, 
about how the harmony can help you to phrase, yeah, in this piece, and perhaps by extension in everything you play, yeah, that that you 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 develop, um, expand your horizon, uh, let the music tell you what to do a little bit, rather than uh, staying in what we might call a a good cello playing mold, yeah, <laughs> good sound and good yeah, the vibrato. But how to how to tailor the phrase a little bit more? What what it requires if you need to release? Yeah, a little bit of sound. Yeah, uh, and and yeah, develop your technique through the music in that respect. A little a little bit. Yeah, that that that, that there's, there's 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 wonderful colours to be found in this piece, and you're doing some already. But there's there's more to be found. Yeah, that it would be fun be fun to maybe sit down the two of you and 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 chart a course through the harmony together yeah it's uh, us cellists of course we so often sit there and read just the one line um but thinking how on it but thinking harmonically is 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 important for us as it is for pianists in the end also yeah, yeah? and you play bach you can't play bach without uh, without this yeah or in general to yeah it, it, it's i think it, it would be really good because you're, you're 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 on your way to be, be a fine cellist you know it's, it's good what you're doing um, the, the, the next step i think yeah is, is is to add it in add all this in yeah well been a pleasure to hear you guys thank you very much thank you yeah all the best thank you yeah. Bye. Bye. that's great thanks so much robert um, Isaac, if you'd like to unmute yourself and turn on your video, your lesson can start. Good afternoon. Hello, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Good, thanks. Where, nice where to about, see that there's where some... About, uh... Oh, I'm uh, also here in Limerick, same as uh, Limerick, oh, okay, same as Adrian, okay. Yeah, yes. excellent. Where are you from? <clears throat> uh, I'm from Los Angeles, actually. Are you? Ah, yes. fantastic. Right. Well, what should we do today? <clears throat> I um, I prepared the five uh, pieces in folk style. Um, five five stuck five stuck in folk spin, as they're also called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard the uh, uh, I've heard the reference. Ian Brown. Um, I I'd, I'd love to do the the second movement. Second, good. <clears throat> sure. Oh yeah, really? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I've got you a little bit on delay, uh, Isaac. So if there's the odd little pause, then forgive me. <laughs> oh yeah, not a worry, not a worry. We'll uh, we can work yeah, it out for sure. We'll, I'll we'll just make sure we'll that figure I'm off the internet as well. That should help. Okay. Okay. Let's that, go to there. Yeah, uh, lovely, lovely things in your playing. For me, um, 
you could you could extend your idea of this as a lyrical line to the extent that you you might consider a little bit how how one might one might sing this yeah and what i mean you don't have to you don't have to sing in front of me it's all right i might later on make a fool of myself when you say that, but um just this feeling that 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 there's more that can be done with with the with the, the shaping of the phrases with the bow it's a, it's a little bit yeah all on the same level you see yeah it it looks to me like you're you're, mm. you're you're concentrating more on the continuity of the vibrato which is good yeah but perhaps you could shift the ratio a little bit and mm. focus more about how you're, you're shaping things with the bow yeah you've got um a sort of a three-bar phrase isn't it yes uh, <laughs> How you shape that note with the bow? If you're doing it in one, uh, say, so you still have room in the bow to make a lovely shape on the F, rather than uh, it's a little bit, a bit flat. Yeah. See if you can yeah. save the bow a bit. Uh, uh, it's a little bit this um, in the piano line, leading the three and releasing. Yeah, a little bit finding a bit of rubato in the figure as well. Yeah. Yeah, good. And maybe, maybe we want to protect the, yeah, uh, the the quality of the theme, but it doesn't get too open. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, beautiful Dolce quality. Yeah. Slightly transparent. Yeah, yeah. Yes, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Yes, exactly, because okay, yeah. from the C to the F, it, it's a wonderful interval. You can even release a bit into the F. Yeah, it can be nice. Not every time, but sometimes. Yeah. Bring out the C even more. Eyes. Yeah. Yes, and some some of these are projectile. lovely passing notes. Don't play them too evenly with with uh, with uh, the next note yeah maybe stretch them a little bit yeah, a little yeah. more spoken yeah mm -hmm. with a pleasure tours it can be a lovely thing to do that here and there yeah mm -hmm. but i like what you found now with the imaginary piano line with this it's a little bit of ebb and flow in the piano line and we can we we can use that to our advantage by not being too lining the notes up yeah it's too rhythmic these are mm -hmm. A little bit of gear before the F. Again, not every time, so it becomes a mannerism, but mm -hmm. finding things like that in, in this line can be very beautiful. Yeah, and then... Uh, it's also not a bad idea. Just lift a little of the couplets. Uh. Little lift over the bow change, just to give it a bit more articulation. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, for me, take, just, for, just just for my taste, Isaac. It's nice for my taste. Just take. Take a little care on the A string. The A string can be a rather shrill string, as we know. Yeah, 
And I think yeah. I think it, mm-hmm. it generally pays in this movement not to welly. Welly, there's no doubt too much. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. A, bit more, a bit more transparent on the A. Otherwise, before you know it, you've, you've hoiked yourself up into a, a, a forte. Yeah, into, into maybe outside of the framework of the character. Yeah, which has a tenderness. And, uh, and uh, you have to protect that more. <clears throat> Nice. Yes, good. Now for me, nice. Yeah, I think you've got you've got some things to search with there. Yeah. yeah. After uh, oh, this kid is. Almost take your breath away with its beauty. Yeah, sometimes I've even played on the A string because it's. Yeah. It's still a. Of course, it's lovely to have the D string quality. You're welcome to play it up there, of course. It just is, it becomes, a, there's more technique to deal with. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, that the pianissimo really means something, not just a tiny bit less than the piano, but a moment of incredible tenderness and, and uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give it a bar or two into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go from the second time round with yes. that. So. Uh. You know, one thing that could help, Isaac. Sometimes I think your, your vibrato is is perhaps a little, a little, uh, maybe wide and omni-active at the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. Maybe you don't need. I mean, of course, it's good to be able to vibrate through 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 notes. But wonder whether it's too much. Uh, Distill the vibrato a bit, oh man. So it's not too voluptuous. Yeah, and, and it, it can create a bit of wonder in the air rather than the wobble sort of permeating everything. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah, try one more time. Yes, good, good, good. I like, I like, I like the shading you have there. But maybe don't, don't grow too much. Eh? Keep it in, in this lovely pianissimo. Yeah, expand it a little bit there. Yeah. There's, there's something so wonderful about that pianissimo, almost like time stands still, so you don't want to roll too quickly afterwards, but protect protect the wonder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, try, try straight on the pianissimo. All right. Yes. These, these notes here, yeah? There's four chords on a the piano, so don't don't flow too uh, That's important actually, yeah. Beautiful Dolce simplicity.
Yes, good, 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 good. I think you're finding nice colors now. For my taste, you could have a little more range in your vibrato. Yeah, and you have a nice yeah. vibrato. Yeah, but it's a little mm -hmm. bit always the same pace. Yeah, and it might be worth you uh, playing around a little bit with, with, yeah, sometimes slightly more intense, less, uh, less full undulations, yeah, and, 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 and maybe slow it down and intensify it a little bit. If you want to create something more rarefied, or if you want to get it back into a more relaxed dolce when the theme comes back, yeah, just to to get away from from the the the, the one dimensionality a little bit, yeah. I mean, I, yes. I once played. I think I, I did once play this piece to to Gergi Kurtag a long time ago. It was a it was a not only an amazing composer but also a, a fantastic pedagogue. Um, great chambers. He's ninety five now. He's still going. He's still going yeah. strong. Kurtag. He's an extraordinary man. And he'd make you play eight bars for about three hours. I mean, it was it was sort of torture actually, but you learned more than uh, it was an incredible session. And once once uh, I was doing the same as you, happy with my quality vibrato, uh, and he stopped and said, "Vibrato is the mirror of your soul." He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, beautiful, yeah." I don't know that you that, that, that you that you have to you have to. There are so many manifestations of it yeah this the way that, that that one uses this is not just to turn it on and off of course yeah but to mm -hmm. to look for all the range that suits the, the the character or the moment in a piece of music yeah and it might be fun for you to think about this um yeah it's a good piece to do it because it's so it's such a refined thing it's the delicate flower uh that, that, that it, it, it won't quite do to just stay with the same vibrato no matter how nice it is you have a nice vibrato but yeah it's it's have a have a think as you go along now and see what you can uh, see what you can find for, for in the pinissimo for instance that intense like he did slightly mm -hmm. small undulation yeah and then when the scene comes back oh, it's like a slight exhalation isn't it yeah yeah and how what what could that make your vibrato do as well as your sound Go from wherever you like. <clears throat> Much better already, much better, yeah? And there's still more to find, yeah? With notes where you barely need to have any, mm -hmm. yeah? It doesn't always need to be switched on. Yeah. You can do so much with sound quality. Now let's go on into the new character. And uh, from what I remember the first time you played it through, don't just rush too much through these semiquavers to get to the, to the, next downbeat can you speak them a bit within the phrase mark imagine imagine you've got the piano playing with you yeah <laughs> Um, let's turn that A flat into a better um, suspension. Now. How do you get them to speak? Not be too legato. Yeah, a little, little bit of help in the bow. Mm -hmm. It's not too much. So then, look, uh, let's 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 think of the look. So uh, try 
trying to develop the A flat again towards the end of the notes. So it connects into the semiquavers a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit flat. So, uh, think more of your bow than your vibrato. Uh. Yes, yes, good, yes, again, it's the on top, just a little lift. <laughs> delivers you out of this 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 rather more dramatic figure with the most fabulous <laughs> make that more special the first time you play it's a little bit yeah. 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 the wonderful quality on that on that b flat yeah not just that yeah. Yes. Try, don't, don't tense up on the semiquavers. I'll flow through the bow mm -hmm. and give them all quality. Yeah, maybe don't rush them. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, good, good, good. But maybe you don't have to play the it on a lot. Can you, can you maybe from being under the string like you have been before, yeah. release it more into bow speed rather than weight, and then you get this catharsis. You see, yeah. Do this. Do the the second one. Yes, sometimes I, I cheat, so I can get on a, on a... I find it easier to get on a down bow for that. second time so starting mm -hmm. through the down bow it's easy to release of course yeah and you can do it on the up bow mm -hmm. too ah. and you have to conjure a release within the bow yeah. mm -hmm. but we don't have to do that again let's go from uh, look at it's maybe a bit too de uh, deliberate. Yeah. yeah. Do the second one. Start up once for fun. Yeah. Not too solid, not too, not too solid, Isaac. Yeah. This piece is too refined to lay into the A string, I think. Yeah, it's it's more of that hard, yeah. hard. You need a bit more quality in the sound. Yeah, it maybe has more to do with bow speed than laying weight, laying weight into too much weight into the notes. Yeah. Yeah. Just go straight on that.
echo. Yes, good, good, good. Almost, almost very nice. Just um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just look after them a little bit. Don't, don't rip mm -hmm. them too much, yeah? yeah? Yeah, do the second one. Mm -hmm. Yes, T -dum -tum, T -dum -tum. Just a little bit, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and now when you continue here, of course you can interpret this as a secondary voice uh, within the counterpoint. For me, it's more interesting if it's equal, at least, because, okay, see, because yeah. we've heard this theme a lot now. And of course, the piano takes it up, which is lovely, but I don't think you should stay too much in the background. Yeah, it's of course not not covering, but it is. Still there. Still giving a little quality to the rather than oh, just hanging on a. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe still expressive. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it's nice. Maybe, maybe can can you protect? Can can you protect the, the this this beautiful quality, the seamless quality, over the bow changes? Yeah, maybe not dropping too much weight through the elbow, but keep keep yeah. the heights. So when you cross the string, perhaps in this case, because we're going back on the air in a minute, not to drop too much onto the D. Yeah. That's the same height. Maybe with a little bit of growth, but more from within rather than a very big forte. Or, yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. more about the beauty of sound, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. Good, good. One question, Isaac. Yeah. How much bow do you need? You're using it's quite healthy the amount of bow. What if you just just distill it a bit more so there's a tenderness and an expressivity together? Oh. Yeah, yeah, not too much. What is enough? Yeah, so put yeah? the bow on a diet, so to speak. <laughs> Yes, good. And one last question, yeah, while well, we're putting mm -hmm. the microscope on, yeah? Yeah. Um, but the, of course, it's, the, it's very still here inside, isn't it? It's peaceful. There's, it's unruffled beauty. Mm -hmm. So how intense does your vibrato need to be? None. Yeah? Maybe can just relax it a little bit more, yeah? <clears throat> Yes, good, good, yeah. And something you can do sometimes it's hardy on tie on tie bring out intervals. Um, the sort of craft of, there's a craft to it. And often it's what you do with with the first note rather than the arrival note. I think often one thinks about ya downbeat, but This is something that singers intuitively do so well. And 
oh, and quite differently, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. Singers don't often intone uh, the downbeat as much as we do. Uh, and I think we can learn something from that. That at least as much quality on the lower A as the top. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> let's try. Yes, so for instance, that, yeah, so you got uh, so here, not a, uh, maybe not the whole bow, just uh, really need maybe a third of it now to rub the phrase off. If you, if you gently sculpt, make indentations in the string as you go along, that slows the bow down, makes the long notes a bit more interesting, yeah? I think in your playing in general, you could, as I said earlier in the, in the, in the piece, you could, you could um, just shift the ratio a little bit, a few percent more towards what you're doing with your bow, yeah? In terms of, in terms of how, you, how you're playing under the string, how you're shaping notes, mm -hmm. yeah? and away from the, the vibrato. And then I think interesting things might happen to your vibrato, actually, <laughs> because they, it will respond more to, to different shadings, different colors. Yeah. Yeah, at the moment, it's, it's, it's almost like that's dictating things a little bit. Uh, yeah, and it's at the expense of, of the, the shaping of the notes. <clears throat> with the bow. So yeah, just a thought. Um, let's go on for now, yeah. Time, eh? If you're going to develop the sound so much, there's a psychological mm -hmm. timing back to the theme, maybe. Yeah? Let's go for it. Maybe the first A uh, can already just be fabulous. Yeah, not in terms yeah. of amount of sound, just ah, nice. yeah. Uh -huh. Did the join into that movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, well, to me, I, I'm keener in a way as a personal, of course, because this specificity in this piece is ultimately pretty personal, rather than bring it further out. I'm not sure it needs so much affirmation. I think releasing it is, is more touching somehow. Huh? it back into the, the beautiful fold as it were rather than yeah, yeah. maybe it's being overt <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah
Yes, I am. Sorry, one more thing. The semi quavers aren't quite. Can you speak them a bit more interesting there? little potati here. And just to remind you, there's just a couple of minutes left. My taste, um, Isaac, it, it, this, you know, maybe every piece of music has a has a sort of framework, an invisible framework for the character. Yeah. And I would say with this movement, if you get too uh, outwardly expressive in the sound, yeah, and, and allow it to, to, to sort of balloon too much and get too sort of self-satisfied, I don't think it has so much to do with the piece anymore. So I think right. it's, it's, it's worth thinking just there, yeah. It's a little bit concerto, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's all over F, we know the, uh, over this F chord, yeah. Yeah, the finished line is sight already so I'm not sure you need to be so too little but before that yeah. perhaps a bit more semplice yeah yeah just from the yes sure the... And then at the end, in a way, maybe one doesn't have to be too um, suspenseful with the last chord. It's like the end of a song. You know, Schumann is a, a leader, leader composer, first and foremost, of course. Yes, a uh, uh, simple. <laughs> yeah, maybe not stretching too yeah. much. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Lovely to hear you. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Really, it was yeah. an honor. All the best. Hope to see you down the line. Oh, yeah. hopefully, yes, please. That'd be wonderful. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's great. Thanks so much, Isaac. And Adrian, thank you so much. That was fantastic. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Yeah, fun. Thanks so much. Nice, nice, nice guys. Yeah. Fantastic group of students we have for us. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> We're very lucky. How's it all going so far? Brilliant. Yeah, I'm Brilliant. going to tune into a few more. I couldn't tune into anything yesterday because I had the kids, but um, I'll be I'll be online with the other stuff. Uh, Good. Well, I'm sure you can tune in for the Beethoven sonatas tonight at the half eight. The time has changed. Half eight tonight. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be there for that. And um, and then we've got the talk as well, haven't we? On uh, on on Monday, right? 